Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create ice type, or an ice effect, or an ice-like type, just like this. As you can see here, we've got a nice little cottage in the middle of nowhere, in the freezing cold, and then I've added in some type on top, just like that. So let's get going, and let's start from scratch. I'm just going to delete the type, and here we go. This is our image. The first step is to go to your toolbar, left click on the type tool, and type in the word cold. If you're following along with me, this is how you do it. You want to add in your word and we'll just put it right there, somewhere at the top. Perfect. Now, the next step is you actually want to go ahead and turn this into a smart object. The way to do that is you want to right click on outside of the, the little square here or the thumbnail outside of the letters over here right click and you're going to see convert to smart object. The reason why is a smart object acts as a container and it allows us to do some work on it using filters that you can't really do on just straight text. Okay, good. We've got the smart object. Now we're going to go up to the top. We're going to go to filter and you're going to go down here to stylize and you're going to see something called the wind filter. If we left click on that, you'll see here that we have the option to wind blast or stagger. These are the three different types of wind and you also have the option to go from right from the right side so it'll start on the right and it will go left or you can go on the left side and it will go right. But because we're trying to do an ice effect that doesn't work for us because generally you want like the icicles to go downwards instead of from left to right or right to left. So I'm going to hit cancel on this and before we apply the effect what you want to do is you want to go to image and then you want to go to image rotation and we're going to go 90 degrees clockwise. And here's what's happened. Now we're going to go apply the wind filter, but we're going to go from the right side to the left side. And when you do that, the icicles are going to hang off the bottom of the letters. So now that we've rotated the image, now let's go to filter, go down to stylize, go to wind, left click on it. When you do that, you want to make sure that you're set on the wind method and you're coming in from the right. Hit on OK. And when we, you'll see a very, very subtle effect. And for some of you, maybe that's all you want. You just want a very subtle effect. But when we zoom in, you'll see here that we've got some sort of icicles and we've got that windblown look. Now, for this, for this tutorial, I want to make it a little bit more uh, salient. I want it to be a little bit over the top so to show off the effect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to apply the filter a couple more times and they actually stack on top of each other. So we're going to go filter and you're going to go to stylize and you'll click wind again. And we'll hit OK and you'll see here that we're getting a little bit more. We'll do it again, filter. You can just go to filter wind and you can just click this here but just to make sure we're doing it the right way, filter stylize wind. Now that is the third stack once I hit OK on this and there we go. This is a very compelling, very cool looking ice type look. Now we want to get this a little bit better so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to select and actually we're going to go to image and we're going to make it uh, the correct way now. So we're going to go to image, image rotation 90 degree counterclockwise. When we do that it didn't work. And you know why? Because we actually have to make a second smart object. I forgot about that so let's do it. I'm going to hit command Z or control Z if you're on a Mac. Command Z if you're on a Mac. Control Z if you're on a PC. We're going to undo that and here this is very very complicated because this just seems unnecessary but we're actually going to right click on it outside of the word cold and we're going to create another smart object so we're going to convert it to a smart object again. Now when we go to image and we go to image rotation and we go 90 degrees counterclockwise the ice particles or the ice actually hangs downwards which is the effect that we're looking for. Now, it's possible that this is all you need to do for your tutorial because you've got it, but I want to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in a little bit more effects just for funsies. So I'm going to left click on effects down here, add a layer style. We're going to bevel and emboss. So FX or add a bevel and emboss layer. Left click on that. And here is the Here's what I like. I mean, you guys can always, you know, dial it in as you see fit. But for what I would go with, I went with an inner level or inner bevel. 
you can go with these other ones and I'll show you what they look like in boss pillow and boss and stuff like that or even outer bevel but they're pretty over the top although that's not too bad but inner bevel gives it a nice kind of depth to it but it's not it's like it's sticking off the page but it's not really like too garish the depth I went with hundred and fifty percent so I'm just gonna type that in hundred and fifty percent okay yeah I can do it that way I'm gonna open that up again I'm gonna double click on bevel and emboss I shouldn't have hit okay there so there we go we've got hundred and fifty percent depth you'll see here that I've got the size at 10 pixels you can of course adjust that as you see fit but 10 pixels looks pretty good to me and we'll leave the angle the altitude the same you will notice that the glass contour I'm not using the standard I'm using uh, well I'm using this one here but uh, what the heck is it called half round but you can experiment with ones like ring or wow that one's no good but yeah let's go with half round but do keep in mind that you can adjust that as you see fit and for the highlight mode I've set it to screen it works quite well for this and of course the color is white and then for this one here for the shadow mode I've set it to multiply but do note that when I click on this set color of shadow what I've done is when I hover over the image I've selected a dark color from the image so I'll select that one or we could select any old one but I like the darker color here and then I hit OK and that way we're selecting the shadow the color is coming directly from the image then if you want to go a little further you can always add in something like a pattern overlay or anything like that but honestly for this type of shot I think this is quite convincing if you don't like the really really bright white what I, you can do is you can take this now so we've got this smart object I can left click on it and I'm gonna drag and drop it on the plus sign here this creates a duplicate layer but this time and you will notice that it did add a little bit more to it so we've got some even more icicles looks but you can actually go ahead now and adjust this one so we're working on the top layer you can go ahead and reduce the opacity down a little bit reduce it to say 50 percent that's looking pretty good and you can even apply a color if you really want to go the extra mile you can adjust the color of the type so if I was to oh, never mind I won't do that but you could go in and adjust the color and maybe make this like a grayish color so that it sort of blends a little bit into the background but honestly this is how you create ice style type or an ice effect on your on your uh, text I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.